Welcome back guys. Today we have this 2021 uh, GMC Canyon Elevation Trim. Uh, regards to the trim, they're all going to be the same whether you have the base model to the top of the line. Uh, everything's going to be the same for the low beams, high beams and turn signals. Alright, so the first thing on the vehicle you guys could tell will be the front turn signals which is the one closest to me. We're going to be doing our T3 series 7443A's which is amber in the CK socket. That's what this vehicle is requiring. So this will be the one product we'll be installing. Again, you guys can find all this on our website, lastfit.com. For low beams, which is the next one over, which is the one with the projector. Um, again, this is the same if it's projector housing or reflector. So whichever canyon you have, is the same application. We're gonna be installing our newest series LS Plus uh, H11s. As you guys know, if you go on the website, these have been upgraded to 130 watts. That's 65 watts per bulb. It's the brightest we offer. And these actually clear the dust cover. We already tried them on, we know for sure it fits. So this goes on, the actual driver goes inside the housing as well, and your cover goes behind. No issues, everything stays snug. You don't have to worry about any debris, any water going inside, as everything does fit perfectly. Next thing last, which will be of course the hiding, We'll be using, again, our new series, LS Plus Series uh, 9005. Uh, same thing, we tried with the factory uh, cover on, everything fits snug, you don't have to worry about it hitting. So these have been upgraded. We made a slimmer on the back side, but of course, stronger power outputs, as these are 130 watts now. Uh, 13,000 lumens total combined for both bulbs. So let's show you guys how to install these. Gotcha. Alright guys. So if we're going to do the hard side, which is the ones that we get most calls on, uh, people just sometimes uh, they can't get to the bulb or they find it a little bit hard because there is some plastic trims here. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, just simply grip anything you can and just simply pull. There's going to be a pin here which it will come off the moment you pull. So just grab that pin like that, set it aside and then you could just pull this plastic trim all the way back. Yeah, you can also remove some clips if you want to. Uh, but again, for this one, it's very simple. Just simply pull this back with one hand, uh, with your left hand, uh, if you're right-handed, left-handed, whichever you prefer, and then just simply go in. Take the bulb out. Let's pop in the turn signal T3. Once you have that click, let's reinsert onto the housing. Uh, a lot of times what you want to do before you reinstall it back into housing is turn the lights on to see how they come on. We already did that so we know for sure it is the proper way it goes in. So let's show you guys how it looks on the vehicle. Alright, now it's locked in. Let's show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, so now we have the H11 low beams. Let's show you guys how to install. This will be closer to the fender. If it's closest to the center, that's your high beam. Closest to the fender, your low beam. Turn counterclockwise. As you can tell, the bulbs, the covers come out very simple. Unplug the bulb and twist off the bulb. Very simple. Let's set this aside. Now let's get our H11 bulbs, which is our LS Plus newest generation uh, bulbs. On this one, I do recommend first plug in the bulb. As you guys tell, same thing, only one tap on one side. So bring this top and push in. On this particular vehicle, the tab is broken, but it grabs on very tight, so it won't come off. Uh, we already tested it just to ensure this information. If not, we're going to get new sockets, but. It holds it on pretty tight. Now, put the bulb in guide. We'll show you right now, before I lock it in, how it looks. Now, this is all feel. You're gonna see where the three guys line up to, and just turn. That grabbed in, very nice. Again, now, most important is always making sure your wires are tucked. Uh, 
nine chains are out. Your cover will not go on properly. That will leave lead to moisture, debris, a lot of stuff building into your nice housings. In a matter of years, or maybe months, depending on where you live, you're going to need to get new housings as they will be nasty from the outside or the inside out. So, in this case, I found it better to first insert the driver, like so. Once it's in, the plug follows very smoothly. it in there you go that's pretty much it right there everything is snug now put your cover back on again this top piece on the top and that's it you're done with the install right now we're gonna turn them on just to ensure everything is done properly and it's all turning on All right, so now let's do the high beam. The one closest to this particular uh, window wiper uh, container box, whatever you want to call it, is right here. Simply twist off the high beam cover. Comes out very simple. You want to unplug the bulb. Just push down. You can set this aside. And just simply turn kind of clockwise bulb should come out. You want to get your 9005 which in our video here we're doing the LS series 9005s. Uh, you could use any of our other generation bulbs as they should clear. So if you wish to plug this bulb again now it only has one fitting on one side so that goes on to this clip. You want to hear the nice click feel. There you go. Once that's in, simply locate the bulb into the housing and turn clockwise. You're gonna have a nice, oh, you know what? Hope that got on video. It shows there that this bulb didn't lock in. So since it is adjustable, turn kind of clockwise. You should be fine. Now you wanna reposition it back in. That's very important. You have to make sure all three tabs are aligned and pushed in. Now it's fully engaged. As you guys could tell, the clips are all inside. Now grip this driver and find any slot you could get here, which is always tends to be on the bottom. And just bring it in, tuck everything inside. So when you put your dust cover, it doesn't interfere, it doesn't prevent him from going in. Everything's tucked in. Now, simply put the cover back on. This top piece always tends to be on the top. So just follow the guides. That's it. Simple install, you'll be done again within five minutes or less.